Good morning, gamers. It is the morning of the release of a DBT06, and I'm once again attempting to vlog that I will definitely edit this time and definitely upload. Because if I don't upload it very soon after the release date, uh, I feel like it's not going to be a good video. Anyway, I'm, I literally woke up and fell asleep to Lord Tony, Mr. Uh, it's Toku TV, doing his birthday karaoke stream, which you probably hear in the background, but I'm now going to get dressed and get out of here and go line up to pick up my case, which I reserved at Chaka Chaka and meet up with my friend David, and then come back and film a box opening first, and then after that, we're going to actually stream the case opening, so you guys have probably already seen that, so let's go! I just arrived at Akiba. It is windy and cold, but we are on the way to the shop. I also shouldn't have to worry about the case being sold out or anything because I pre-ordered. So no matter how popular the set is today, it should be okay. All right, we're lining up. This is David, a longtime friend. We're lining up right now in front of Shaka Shaka, trying to show people's faces. And apparently some of the single prices early are pretty insane. Like, especially for Stokia, you said. Like Leonorn is like 2k a piece or something. And it's only day one. Usually day one is the cheapest. So it's gonna it's only gonna get worse, but we have to there's only like 10 people in line I think right now, so we should be able to get in pretty soon. Here are your early prices for play sets of each nation. And then singles. You can see Leonorn and Nirvana pretty expensive. All the Varinas and this as well as Branky being pretty cheap and youth work being pretty expensive. <laughs> you can see the reprints of the OTs being pretty cheap for what they are. Double rares. <laughs> the Nefaris. Double rares and Alright, the goods are secured. This is the case. It is heavy as shit, as usual. But cases here go for like, what, 80, 80k yen, which is, compared to the European price, pretty damn cheap. And so now, David also managed to get his stuff. What did you buy? Well, like, all the over trade goes. And, like, oh, yeah? And, yeah, and also some of the dark states. Yeah, we also have a building drag duo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of the dark states. That's good. And the Yonkon really wasn't that bad, like the play sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like, some shops were charging like 30k yen for the Nirvana place, but Shaka Shaka was taking only like 14, 16? 14 to 16. I got it from the order in the online, like about 14. Yeah, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So yeah, now gonna get some breakfast slash coffee and then head back and record and stream and all that kind of stuff. And then I don't know if I'll see David later. Maybe, maybe not. But it's good. We got the stuff. breakfast of champions we don't have we don't have mcdonald's breakfast in, in europe so every time i have a chance to eat especially these mcgriddles like we don't have breakfast in luxembourg mm. and in europe they have breakfast but they don't have these and this is my favorite thing that they have so mcdonald's doesn't open oh. <laughs> they just stay closed <laughs> All right, so I just wrapped up editing the first box that I opened just for YouTube. We still have the entire case left, but I uh, it's already 12.30, so I'm gonna quickly go and get lunch at the Combini and then get to streaming, basically, because I need to open this fast and also get starting and then, you know, just do a bunch of other stuff today. There's honestly way too much work on these release days. Back from the Combini, let me show you what I picked up real quick for my survival food. We have things I can eat fast, a sandwich a nikuman, a protein shake, or protein milk protein, vitamins because, you know, COVID is going crazy, and coffee. This is, <laughs> this is my, my haul for lunch today. You should know this, Daiki's got it, it's the chicken baby, let's go! Ah! <laughs> Yo! Holy shit, oh my god. Oh my god, yo, KFC, KFC, let's go, oh. <laughs> my neighbors are probably like, why the fuck is this guy screaming about KFC? Wait, 
Oh my god, I think it's Youthberg. I think it's a Youthberg. I think it's a Youthberg. It might be a Youthberg. Human? 13k? Keter Sanctuary? Youthberg! FFR, baby! Let's go! Youthberg FFR! Gasto! Go the grade? Okay, let's go with the grade then. Oh! It's green. It's green. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's Leonard! <laughs> no way! Alright, so I just wrapped up opening the case and oh my god, those of you that watched it live, you know how emotional it was. I just sorted all the rares and double rares and frame rares, but look at this! Look at these FFRs. I'm I'm literally like I'll probably I'll definitely sell this. Probably sell this, but the Leonorn. I wasn't even that attached to Leonorn. But dude, just seeing her like this is oh it's so tempting, dude. I'm having a change of heart. But it's like these two are the most expensive DSRs. Like I literally I just DM'd the Tencho at Shaka Shaka and I was like, look at what I pulled. And he's like, oh my god, it's more expensive than pulling a DSR. So dude, this is crazy. So right now I'm basically gonna sort my remaining stuff. Um, because I'm also have to like give this stuff to my friend Jason and then sort some stuff I have to bring to Osaka tomorrow for the boys uh, to give them the cards they're missing. Um, and I still have these boxes of commons. These are just full of commons, you know, brain empty full of commons um, that I have to sort as well. So now it's sorting time. And then when sorting time is done, it's I'm um, going to try to go to tournament, uh, which I have to leave for pretty soon. So I'm going to go and get that stuff done quick. All right, so we are at Shaka Shaka now, and this is the prices at the end of day one. So you can see some of the playsets are still available, but are going up in price. And Leonor is completely sold out, way too popular. Keter, still available. People are starting to catch on to the deck being actually pretty decent. Hero's super cheap. Dark State's also super cheap. And uh, Nirvana you can still get for under 20k. And then we can see Nirvana here, the Verena Trio. All the trippers go for over a thousand. Yen, the Dark States triples are all pretty cheap still. And then for Branky, they're all also very, very cheap, outside of the generic one being a bit pricier. And then for Youthberg, we see that uh, they seem to be going up. I think these were at around a thousand in the morning. And uh, Mr. Our friend here, the searcher, is going up a lot. And then Stoikia is completely sold out. Like, Leonorn you can't find anywhere. The grade one just sold out for 1,750. So yeah, that's going up a lot. You can see here the DSR is at 25k. For double rares, you can see the Verena stuff is pretty expensive. Dark State's pretty cheap. Rank it even cheaper. Ketter, pretty cheap outside of the counter charger. And then Stucky is also quite cheap. And look at the overtures 700 yen for the Dragon Empire one, everything else like around 600. Super good. We and one SSR as well, 10k. And then this is the other FFRs as well. So. Very good prices. All right, it is now the evening. We are with the boys after a little tournament or an exchange meeting. It's called the Kod Yukai. Um, I, you basically play, loud ass bike. Play two rounds, I'm against people who wins, who lose, doesn't really matter. Um, and you have a random prize of, a, of the God of Everything play mat, and I managed to get it today. So that's very cool. Um, but the prices are going crazy and all the Leonorn pieces are selling out like fast. So we're now gonna go check some shops to see how the prices are looking and if we can find some Leonorns because they're sold out at Chaka Shaka, so yeah, it's yabai. Yeah, we were also just talking now how in, in the shop that we're at, the person that often does the rock, paper, scissors for like prizes and stuff, he always starts with paper, so he always put out <laughs> scissors first. So he was like doing the random thing for, for the playmat, and I was like, okay, we took it, take out scissors. And then everyone put out scissors, so like everyone was like still in. So he like reacted to that, I was like, okay, he reacted to scissors, so I think he's gonna put out scissors himself. I was the only one who put out rock <laughs> and managed to win it. This shit's crazy, man. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> yeah. The rock paper scissors is too important. It's too important. <laughs> We're now saying goodbye to the night with the kebab. Shout out to Lord Moses. The boys enjoying. 
it's good stuff. All right, I'm back home and it is a huge mess over here. Jesus Christ, I had like no time to clean up anything. So I basically made one of these from scratch. Um, you basically have to fold out these big storage boxes and then you kind of make a lid and then it looks like this as a finished product. So this is how I store my cards. Um, it's distributed by like formats and sets, but this is all like first season of OD plus premium plus V. And then this is gonna be all wheel dress stuff basically. And that's where all of these cards are gonna go into. So it's gonna be very nice and organized, which I like, I like organization. All right, it's over, it's clean. The table is free for the most part. It is just past midnight and it is mostly sorted. Obviously these boxes are empty and will be going here and will be disposed of, but look, it's done. It's done. Everything is sorted and will be sleeved tomorrow because I'm very sleepy and I need to go to bed. So yes, everything is done. Commons are all sorted perfectly. Everything is by grade, by rarity, by nation. Very nice. I put the remaining high rarity stuff. I sold a bunch of my high rarity stuff already because um, I was like, I will not be keeping this. So yes, Dragon Empire, Dark States, Brandt, Keter, and Stoikea has been sorted. Yay, I cannot clap with one hand, I'm, I'm afraid. And this is like random commons that I don't need. So I might just like put these away somewhere and then like sell them when their price goes up um, in like half a year or something. Um, so yes, I need to get rid of all these boxes somewhere um, and get rid of all this trash. Like, look at this. Am I, am I a card shop or something? <laughs> Do you see this? It's ridiculous, so much plastic. So I will chuck this into the bin and it will be gone. There's another trash can empty there as well before I leave tomorrow for Osaka. So yes. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I may add a little segment tomorrow morning of myself uh, sleeping stuff, but that is it. It is now midnight. I'm very tired. I'm gonna go shower and go to bed because it's been a long day. I haven't slept much and I've been up for a very long time, but it's been fun. It's been a very fun day and this is what a content creator's release day looks like for a big Vanguard set. Um, I cannot promise that every big release day looks like this. I can assure you that when Clan Collection came out, it didn't look like this. And when the Lyrical Booster comes out in September, it will also not look like this. But when an important big set like this comes out, then this is kind of how it feels. So yes, I hope you enjoy this video. Please don't look at the mess behind me because it's all out of order because I have been, uh, you know, doing this all day. So yes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys around. Peace.